Kelsey and Kendra and today we're going to be doing our fall essentials 2020 you guys know this is one of our favorite videos to film every single year because fall is our favorite season we love the smells we love the leaves changing yeah. outside we love the weather in general it mm -hmm. just feels amazing outside so yes we have a variety of different products to talk about today mm -hmm. we have a lot of beauty home yes. fashion and a little bit of food at the end yes so yeah, this video is gonna be kind of long, but we know you guys love a long video. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, we're gonna start with beauty. So starting with makeup, everybody needs a go-to fall lip color or lip colors like as in plural because y'all know we can't just pick one. It's just no. impossible. So as far as lip liners, if you guys have been subscribed to our channel for a while, then you would know that Chestnut is an OG favorite. This is a super, super deep brown lip liner. This is the best brown lip liner that I've tried. I do have quite a few at this point in my collection, but I always go back to this one. It's super long lasting. It's a little bit on the dry side, but you can always moisturize before. And it looks good on so many different skin tones. You can blend it with so many different lipsticks and lip glosses, it's just bomb. So I am wearing this today. And if you guys are on the hunt for a brown lip pencil, then Chestnut by MAC is the way to go. And then as far as liquid lipstick, I love, love this, the Balm. This is the Balm Cosmetics. It's their Meet Matte Hues Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Reliable. Trustworthy is also a really good one, but it's a shade lighter and I really love that yeah. for summer. It's a little bit more peachy. Yeah, more peachy. And this mm -hmm. has a little bit more mauve, like rosy tones in it. It's so pretty. It's a very matte, but it's not super drying. I have more drying liquid lipsticks than this but this one is bomb. It's like the most gorgeous, rosy mauve color. I'm wearing it today. And I also love the formula. It's slightly minty, but not too minty to the point where it's irritating. So if you guys are looking for a really good shade for fall for liquid lipsticks, this is the one for you. And something that I've been loving mixing with that is from Dose of Colors, and this is called Aesthetic. So this is more peachy, but I love peachier tones to put in the center of my lips just because they blend really nicely with a deeper mauve shade. I really love this color. It's very similar to Trustworthy, the color from the Balm that we were talking about, but I just love the formula of these and I like her packaging. It's a nice doe foot applicator. This color is super, super long lasting and I feel like some of her shades don't really complement darker skin tones, but this one really does. So I love aesthetic, it's really, really nice. Last but not least, I have an actual lipstick. I hardly ever wear lipstick, but if the color is bomb, I will wear it. And this one is one of my favorites. This is the KKW Peach 4. So this is the number four lipstick. So it's a very, very terracotta peachy color. It's a super rich, like creamy formula. So if you're not into the lipstick formula, then don't try this. But if you don't mind lipsticks because you put a gloss over it anyway, like I usually do, Today I tried to do all matte, so I do like a matte lip every now and then, but my typical go-to lip is gloss. But sometimes in the fall months, y'all know it get a little windy, and when your, your hair gets stuck to your lips, it's really annoying. But sometimes a gloss isn't the way to go if you're gonna be out and about. Just go with a matte lip, and it'll last all day if you have the right products. Okay, so I have some lip products to talk about as well, but I just wanted to mention all three of these together because it's a complete lip combo that I like to do that I'm wearing today. So the first thing is Cork by MAC. I like to go in with this first. And this is an OG product from them. I feel like this lip liner has been around just as long as Chestnut as well. I feel like this is one of their top tier liners that a lot of people use. And it's a really unique color. So I think that's why a lot of people like it. That's why I like it. It's like a really dark mauve nude. So it's chocolate, but it's kind of like a soft chocolate in a way. And it has a tad bit of gray undertone. So like a cinnamon color? Yeah, kind of like cinnamon mixed with chocolate. It's like a hybrid of those two colors. So that's why I like it, it's super unique. And I like to mix it with the KKW lip liner in Nude 3, which is basically chocolate brown. And I really like her liners because they're super creamy. So they're really easy to blend in with other products. So they're not drying at all. So that's the only thing that I don't like about the Chestnut by MAC. Kendra mentioned that it is kind of drying, but it do last. Um, but this does last as well, but I like this because like I said, it's really blendable and super creamy. So I like to mix these and then over top of that to finish it off, I like to do the Liquid Lipstick by Huda Beauty. And this is in the color Spice Girl super super pretty like mauve nude color this is one of her darker ones because i feel like some of the other ones that i have from her are a little bit lighter more for like spring and summer but this is perfect for fall mm -hmm. so these three together 
I am wearing them today. They're bomb. They just scream fall together. I like them separately too, but it's just something about them when I put them together. They're like the, not a dynamic duo, but a dynamic trio. So yeah, they lit. So next I have one skincare product to mention. And for me, this is an essential year round, but especially when it starts to get colder and your skin needs a little bit more hydration, everyone needs a really good hyaluronic acid serum. And my go-to is from Dr. Nigma. This is the serum number one, and it's to hydrate plump. And it says it has plant stem cells whatever that is but hyaluronic acid is really good for your skin obviously you need to follow it up with a really good moisturizer but this has been my go-to for a while i think i've been using this one for about a year now that's how committed i am to this one in particular use one that works for you there's so many different kinds of hyaluronic acid out there so they have one from the ordinary they have a bunch of different drugstore options like la Roche posay has one and i also think the brand Beachy has one Beachy. Vichy, yeah. They have one, but I like the L'Oreal one a little bit better than the Vichy one. L'Oreal also has one. Yeah. And they have a fragrance free option if you, your skin can't take fragrance. But this one is my go-to. I love it so much. I've lost count of how many bottles I've gone through of this one. I only use it at night because it is on the pricier side, but it's bomb. My skin feels really plump and hydrated. So highly recommend a good hyaluronic acid serum because you can't go wrong with a good serum. Okay, so the next product I have here is a really good body exfoliator. This is from the brand Necessaire and Kelsey introduced me to these products and I'm so obsessed with this body exfoliator. This is the Bergamot scent. I love the smell of this. It smells like a spa, yes. very soothing. It's like calming smelling and it smells very, a little earthy, but not in a bad way. It just smells very calming. It smells like a spa, like if you, Use this with the steam in your shower. I'm telling you, it's gonna smell just like a spa, but at home. So these scrubs aren't very abrasive. You have to apply more. A lot of their products are very lightweight and they're very gentle. gentle. Yeah. So if you're someone who's looking for like the kind of Shri Hut sugar scrub, like that kind of scrub, then this isn't for you. But if you're someone who's looking for something a little bit more lightweight, less abrasive, this is bomb. It smells amazing. The grains are a little bit more fine than a regular like sugar scrub those are a little bit thicker more abrasive like i said but this is very lightweight and the smell is amazing it's like a good fall nighttime shower smell in my opinion so if you guys haven't tried any of these products and you're wondering which scent is a good one to go for try the bergamot scent because i'm obsessed with it it smells very calming and relaxing so love this body exfoliator Okay, so the next product is also a body product, and this is by Waleda. You guys know we're obsessed with their skin food, mm -hmm. like the original skin food cream. That stuff is amazing. But this is the skin food body butter. So this is kind of like the same thing, but the body butter version. Mm -hmm. And this is also a lot easier to rub in. <laughs> it is. Way easier. So this texture is kind of like shea butter in a way. Very thick. It's very thick, but when you smooth it into your like body, it's like turns kind of into like a thicker oil in a way. Mm -hmm. And it, it warms up nicely. Really nicely. It just locks in the moisture really, really well. This is excellent right out of the shower. So mm -hmm. like you're still kind of damp and you put this on, your skin is gonna be so soft, like extremely soft. I feel like with Waleda, you can't really go wrong with their body products because they're very consistent mm -hmm. and they actually work. Yes. So you're not wasting your money. Um, this is five fluid ounces. I can't remember how much I paid for mine. Yeah. This is actually Kendra's. I put her onto this particular body butter because we both had been using the actual skin, skin food, food cream. cream. Mm -hmm. But I recently discovered uh, the body butter on Derm Store because oh, they have a body okay. section on Derm Store. And I was like, oh, they have a body butter. I had no idea. So when I started using it, I just became obsessed. So. Try this. If you like the skin food cream, you would like the skin food body butter. Uh huh. It's really thick and emollient, mm -hmm. and you can use it by itself. You don't mm -hmm. need to add an oil if you don't want to. No, it's not like really. A really good single product. You can use it alone, and mm -hmm. it's just super like low maintenance because I feel like it just gives your skin the food it needs, like the name. It's like food for your body. Yes, love it. But I like it because it's a nice balance for fall because it's not too thick like you would need for winter yeah. yet but it's just enough moisture for fall, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Um, it has a lot of really good oils in it, like sunflower oil. I think it has um, shea butter. I said it feels like shea butter. Yep, shea butter. Shea butter is in here. Mm -hmm. It's probably mostly made of shea butter because the it texture like is it. exactly like shea butter, just not 
as hard to rub in because if you use like plain shea butter it's kind of hard to rub Real in thick. it's extremely thick oh it also has lactic acid in here oh cool which is like a really nice like light exfoliation which probably makes the skin even smoother yeah. and lactic acid is really hydrating also yes also hydrating it's a hydrating acid if mm -hmm. that makes sense it has that signature skin food smell if yes. you guys have tried the skin food cream you know that smell it smells exactly the same a little citrusy yeah citrusy yeah earthy we keep saying earthy but i just feel I like it smells natural, natural. <laughs> yes. not artificially like scent exactly not too much like artificial fragrance yes and speaking of the waleda brand if you're into body oils then this product is for you so i actually like both of these waleda products separately that's why i said that works really well the body butter on its own like i love it by itself and i also love this body oil by itself so this is their cellulite body oil i don't have cellulite thank god but i just love the formula of this oil it's very lightweight so it's not like a super thick sticky oil mm -hmm. it's a very like thin very smooth kind of oil love this it has birch extracts in it so it says reveals radiant looking skin this is bomb so if you're a lazy body moisturizer kind of person and you like oils and this is for you highly recommend it it's super like simple it says you can put it on your thighs hips and your butt but i put it on my entire body it says after four weeks use once per day to maintain effect i don't know the effect but i just know the effect is moisturizing <laughs> that's the only effect that i see i think they mean like as far as cellulite fix the cellulite yeah yeah but, but you don't have that problem like you said right too yeah i just love the formula and if you're looking for a new body oil to try this one's really good this is 3.4 fluid ounces but a little bit goes a really long way so highly recommend it smells just like that signature skin food, skin food smell scent. yeah i really like it yes. very light and like fresh yeah and i feel like the smell kind of gets you ready for bed it's like a very calming, calming smell. smell yeah so really love this body oil okay so while we're still on the topic of body we're going to move on to fragrance you guys mm -hmm. know we love perfume kendra a lot more than me yes but she's getting me into more scents as well because i'm very particular when it comes to scents like kendra can try so many more perfumes than me but i get a headache with certain scents like yeah. my nose is just very sensitive um but this is one of my favorites i feel like i've talked about this scent before this is by replica uh the mason Margela, Margela Paris brand, um, but Replica, they have a ton of scents. They have a ton of amazing scents, by something the way. Something for everybody. Everybody would find something that they would like, but this one in particular is perfect for fall. This is Jazz Club. This is probably an OG favorite of mine. I've been using this scent for probably the past like three or four years. Bomb. It's so nice. It's very warm, mm -hmm. extremely warm. It's a vibe. It is unisex. Yeah, so you can use it on your man and you can use it yourself. And I love the color so fall. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of looks like rum a little bit. Oh, I forgot how pricey this was. This one also comes in travel size for like $30. So if you don't want to commit to the big size, which is $130, you can just get the travel size for $30. I always try the travel sizes of these first to make sure I like them. And when I fall in love with it, or if I fall in love with it, I just get the big one like this one. So I think it's supposed to give you like a time and place. Like mm -hmm. it makes you think of like that scent and like it gives you kind of like a, a location. That's yeah. The, mm -hmm. I think that's the point of these replica scents. Yeah, because they all have reproduction that Reproduction of familiar scents and moments of varying locations and periods. periods. Yeah. So right up under provenance and period, which like I said, is Brooklyn 2013. It says the fragrance description is heady cocktails and cigars. I'm not sure what heady is. I think it means like a heavier hmm. scent. Oh, and it does say it's a male fragrance, but it has become unisex over the past few years because a lot of ladies like it too. Um, it just says, this perfume brims the sweet notes and open cigar boxes, old leather bar stools, and fine aged liquor, a smooth cocktail of pink pepper, neroli oil rum. I said it looks it like rum. rum. That's so weird. Yeah. Vanilla and tobacco leaves. So that's where the sweetness comes in at. It has a little bit of vanilla in it. Mm -hmm. and it says it, woody spices. It says it's warm and spicy as well. So that sounds like fall to me, which is why this is one of the most perfect scents for fall. It's bomb. And speaking of the Replica brand, I recently discovered this newer scent that they have, and this is their Whispers in the Library. So, so I love this one. I originally tried this one in like the little spray first, and I fell in love. I knew I would like it based on the notes. I'm pretty good at buying scents based on the notes like i blind bought plenty of 
fragrances in most the past. of your perfumes actually and i end up really liking them and also sometimes i watch videos when people talk about the scent mm -hmm. and i can kind of get a clear description of what it's going to smell like based on the notes and just hearing people talk about the type of scent that it is because you guys know i'm a collector of fragrances and i think i'm pretty good at deciding what i like and what i'm not gonna like so I knew that I would like this. This says the Providence in period is Oxford 1997. It does have a vintage smell to it. And this does say that the fragrance description is paper and waxed wood, random. And the style description is female and male fragrance. So this does say that it is unisex. And this is a warm and spicy scent. So it's in the warm and spicy fragrance family. It's woody spices and the notes are Pepper Essence, Tonka Bean Absolute, and Cedarwood. So for me in particular, like if you guys want me to compare to anything that I already have and anything you may have, it smells very, very similar to Gucci Guilty, the original Gucci Guilty. If you guys have uh, tried Gucci Guilty, you know it's very oriental, kind of warm, a hint of like a cologne scent in there. And depending on your body chemistry, it dries down sweeter. So that's what this does for me is Initially when you spray it, it smells more like a cologne and that's kind of like the male part of it. And then when it dries down, it smells more warm and sweet. Like feminine. Which is like the feminine female part of it. Mm -hmm. So I really love this perfume. It's a very, very like sophisticated smell. You can wear it day or night. And I don't think it's like an offensive smell. You know how too, too sweet of scents like Kelsey gives people a headache. Or it makes me nauseous this doesn't do that i love it it's very long lasting on me some of the replica scents are a little bit lighter and you have to spray more on yeah this one i feel like you don't but then again that also depends on your body chemistry because perfume is very personal which is why i make perfume videos very like sparingly because i feel like a lot of people have different tastes when it comes to perfume everything i love some other people wouldn't love and then vice versa but i do feel like this is more of a you know universal scent a lot of people would really like this but it just smells just like gucci guilty to me like so if y'all got gucci guilty and you want to try this then i do think you would love it so try the smaller size give it a try give it a sniff you're gonna love it by the way i forgot to mention that jazz club also comes in a candle on sephora so even that's if you, the first time i actually smelled the actual scent. yeah we smelled it in a candle first and then we were like oh they have the actual fragrance yeah so if you don't really like wearing perfume that often or you're not going anywhere at the time but you want to smell this around your house they have a candle yeah okay so the last scent that i have to mention here is a cheaper alternative so this is a cheaper option for a fall scent although it does not smell like whispers in the library or jazz club it's still a really good fragrance this is a part of the new kkw fragrance collection they're newer like diamond scents not the other ones and weirdly enough the courtney one of that one smells the best the yellow one the yellow one and i weirdly like the courtney one the most again which is really weird I don't know why but the other two in this line smell way better than the first the one. first one she came out with yeah so the uh the green one so i think that's the emerald one and then the blue one the sapphire one they both smell really bomb yeah, one is just good. fruity and then the other one's really clean mm -hmm. but they're not strong they're not very strong super light and they're not very fall so they're more like an everyday they smell more like a general kind of scent like you can wear year round but as soon as i sprayed this ruby one y'all it smells like fall and winter just had a baby <laughs> i would wear this on thanksgiving i can wear it on christmas mm -hmm. it smells very spicy that's like the first word that comes to mind when i smell it very yeah. spicy and very sweet so this is an exact dupe for the tom ford noir Parfume. i think that's the name yeah, of the perfume it does smell like that i'll find the bottle and you guys will know what i'm talking about it's the black and gold one and it's like the straight like the, it has the vertical lines on it it's not the regular tom ford bottle it's a different one it it's smells more flat yeah it's just like flat i know what you're talking about this yeah. smells exactly like that perfume so if you guys want to try that perfume just buy this because it smells exactly the same and it's way cheaper way cheaper it smells very spicy and sweet i'm not exactly sure of the exact price but i know for a fact that it's cheaper than the replica scents we just mentioned and I think the bottle's are really cute too. Even though I don't like that you can't stand it up, you have to lay it on its side. <laughs> but it still smells really bomb. You just have to spray a little bit more because again, sometimes the more affordable scents aren't as long lasting usually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have to spray on a lot more. Mm -hmm. But it's still worth it because this smells bomb. 
Okay, so moving on to our favorite essential ever, especially for fall, mm -hmm. candles. So it would not be a fall essentials if we didn't mention pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath & Body Works. Some people love this candle, some people hate this candle, but we happen to be obsessed with this candle. Yeah. It's one of our all time faves. We've been obsessed with this candle for probably years. six or seven years. It's very nostalgic. Every time I burn it, I just think of eating caramel popcorn on the couch watching Hocus Pocus or, or Halloween, Halloween Town or something. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's so good. It's very like sweet and nutty and salty. Rich. And rich. It's a very rich scent. But it's also a little smoky. A little smoky, kind of buttery. For sure buttery. It's not too sweet. Cause sometimes like Bath and Body Works sweet scents can get like too sweet. Headache. Give, like give me a headache and make me nauseous. Mm -hmm. But this is like the perfect balance, balance. of sweet, salty, and buttery. So, so good. All three of those together. You can together. smell everything in here. You can smell the pumpkin, the, the pecan, and you for sure smell the waffle. Mm -hmm. If you guys are curious about the exact notes on here, it says maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, brown sugar with essential oils. So this is phenomenal. And I have way too many of these. I'm ashamed to say how many we have of these in our candle stash. But you actually don't need to burn that many to you smell need it. like one or two. Like you need one or two to like feel like a whole room. We don't burn more than two of these. No. Ever. Mm -mm. Cause it's very potent, yeah. this candle. Okay, so the next candle I actually found at, was it TJ Maxx or Home Goods? I feel I like I found this one at TJ Maxx. Yeah, it was TJ Maxx. I do know that this candle has a website. This is by the brand Bloom and Prosper. So you probably can find a similar scent to this one on their website, but this particular candle is called Pumpkin Rum. And I showed this in my fall morning routine and I'm obsessed with it. It's burned out now, like I can't burn it anymore. It's at the bottom, but it smells amazing. It's kind of spicy and sweet at the same time. Very I warm. definitely smell the spice a little bit more than the sweetness, but that's what I like about it. I smell a lot of cinnamon in this. It's just the epitome of fall. Like if you don't like sweet scents, you will really like this because it's a hint of sweet, but not too much. Like I said, it's a little bit more spicy, extremely warm, obsessed with the packaging. So cute in fall. But they do have a pumpkin one on there now, but it's not pumpkin rum. I think it's salted pumpkin or something like that. But I'm pretty sure it smells similar to this. And that's also something that we suggest if you guys don't want to spend your money on Bath & Body Works candles, which I highly recommend if you do really still want to buy their candles, they always have a sale. Don't buy them full price. Always wait till they have a sale or if you have a coupon, use it <laughs> because they always come in handy. Yeah. But if you don't want to buy Bath & Body Works candles, Home Goods has some of the best options. Mm -hmm. And the next two candles I have to talk about are from Home Goods and they smell bomb. They are very good projecting candles. They project very well because some candles that I do find at Home Goods tend to smell a little bit too light and you can mm -hmm. barely smell it when you walk in the yeah, room. Yeah, it's the hit or miss. Yes, but for some reason, most fall smelling candles are always very strong. Mm -hmm. They project really well. I think it's just the actual notes that are in the candle. Yeah, they're more potent in general. But this one is from the brand DW Home, and this is from their Cafe Creations mm -hmm. line, I guess, and this is called Pumpkin Spice Latte. So this smells like a chai. Smells yeah. just like a chai. Mm -hmm. We were like trying to find ones that blend with our decor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this just so happened to smell amazing. Yes. And it's huge. Look how big this candle is. It was yeah. $14.99, which is a great bargain for this size. It's really big. And most of the home, or all of the home goods candles are very, very affordable and you're gonna find something you like. And they usually have really nice packaging. So mm -hmm. you just can't beat home goods. And this smells like a chai, even though it says latte, this for sure smells like a chai latte. Very spicy, very sweet. But I'm not gonna lie, you might not wanna burn other sweet candles with this one because this is sweet enough all on its own. Yeah, by itself. But it's still really, really good. I also feel like this is a nice transitional candle. You can for sure burn this in the winter months as well because it kind of smells yeah. like Christmas also. A little bit, yeah. So if you're at Home Goods and you can find this candle, please pick it up. You won't regret it if you like sweet, like fall, warm smelling scent. Toffee, coffee. Toffee, coffee kind of smell. Yeah. So this next one is also from Home Goods. I'm telling y'all, go hit up your local Home Goods. You're gonna find something you like. But this particular one is called Apple Berry Pumpkin. And at first I was like apples and berries. I don't know what that was gonna smell like. And this is from the brand Sensational. So that's the name of the brand. This one is a little lighter than the one Kendra just mentioned. It's not 
as like overpowering but it's still a really nice light scent and this one you can definitely smell the pumpkin in it and it smells very creamy if that makes sense definitely makes me want a latte or something it's a really nice scent so very similar to that one but like i said it's a little bit lighter and a little bit more creamy yes yeah, a little bit yes yeah, smoother. smoother yeah this one kind of slap you in the face <laughs> yeah it's sweetness it does but that one is a little bit less Sweet, but still really 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 good mm -hmm. okay so the next essential is food related and some people might be like well, why the hell is this an essential but it is for us because yeah it has just been like filling our fall with happiness and it's these these are the apple straws and these are the cinnamon ones so if you eat veggie straws you guys know they have like the ranch the sea salt ones oh yeah these are the sweet version of those and these are the cinnamon ones they kind of taste like the cinnamon twist at Taco Bell, yes. but less Lighter. sweet uh -huh. with an apple twist. Uh -huh. So that's kind of what these remind me of in a uh -huh. way. They're really yes. crunchy, so, so good. It's very easy to finish a bag by yourself, so yes. be careful. <laughs> They're very light. Very light. Like they taste like they were put in like an air kind of fryer. <laughs> Not like a regular fryer. fryer you I know, know what you mean. Chips in. I know what you mean. Make. Yeah. It's the very airy tasting. So Which is easy to eat a lot. That's why it's easy yeah, to eat so many. Yeah. Um, these have 30% less fat than the leading potato chips. So they're not as fattening as you would think because they are kind of sweet. But like I said, not as sweet as the Taco Bell cinnamon twist. But they do remind me of those. It says it has no artificial flavors or preservatives. So, so 140 calories. Y'all, I buy these like three bags at a time. Yes. It's going to be like, can you get some more apple straws when I be on Instacart? Yes. They're so, They're so, like so the good. They're like the perfect go-to like fall snack, especially during the week. Because mm -hmm. I know like it gets really hard not to eat the bad stuff around this time of year. Yeah. Because we all want like, you know, the really good stuff that's mm -hmm. not good for us. Yeah. But that's a really good alternative to the stuff that you probably be craving. Mm -hmm. That we and all it, crave. Yeah, and it's satisfying too. You don't yes. feel like you want something else sweet after you eat it. Right. Like after you eat these, you're good. They're also vegan and they are gluten free. Check these out. We get them at Publix. They lit. Okay, so moving on to a couple of fashion essentials that we love during fall. I wanted to talk about some really nice comfortable loungewear and I have been obsessed with the brand Aritzia for about like the past month and a half. I love their stuff. So if you're looking for a really good quality loungewear, their TNA line at Aritzia is amazing. So the sweatshirt that I'm wearing right now is from Aritzia, my Unity sweatshirt. Love it. I love like the gray, kind of like a purpley undertone. This is it's super duper soft, so comfortable. Love it. And I've also been loving this sage color. They have so many different colors on their like sets. So they have like these kind of crew necks that are really high neck. Uh, I actually wore this on Instagram with shorts when it was still a little bit warmer out. But it's a very like wide sleeve, like the sleeves are super wide. So they're not like really tight around like the upper part of the arm. So they, the fit is really, really nice and chill and effortless. And this hmm. fabric, let me tell y'all, this is really good quality. Thick. Yeah, quality fabric, mm -hmm. love it. I love all the color options. They have very unique colors. So they have like a nice mocha shade. They have some nudes. They have this sage color. They have navy blue. They have like a really dark green. Like they have so many different colors. But I've been loving this shade lately. So this sweatshirt, I love the style of these because the high neck for some reason is really satisfying to me. I love the neck. It's very unique, I like the cut. And then I also think like just a good zip up like pullover hoodie is really good because you can put like a white like a white tee underneath like anything yeah. super simple you can put like something nude under here and it looks nice with like some sweatpants I actually have the matching sweatpants with this and I just love the uh, quality of these super duper soft again and they aren't the cheapest so if you want to try these just get one set and just wear it out once you can't wear it no more and if you really really like it then try some other colors but this is really good it's comfortable enough to wear at home and outside of the house because you know sometimes when you put something on you like you want to savor it from when you actually going somewhere but these are so comfortable that you still want to wear them at home so the tna brand from aritzia is my go-to for like my fall essentials because during a pandemic we haven't been wearing clothes clothes as much but when i still want to feel cute and comfortable that's the go-to because you can mix and match it with all your other clothes. Okay, so a fall essential for me is definitely a leather jacket. Even though I think this particular one is faux leather. This is from Zara. 
and I showed this in my Zara haul so you guys probably remember this I had never had a Zara leather jacket before the two that I had were from forever 21 I had had them for like a couple of years but I wanted one that was a little like better quality but that wasn't $600 like a Tom Ford leather jacket, mm -hmm. which I probably will buy in the future, but not right now. But this one is super, super cute. I think it was only $80, which is a really good deal. Even though this is not real leather, it still feels like real leather and it's really good quality. Really good ones. Yeah, really good quality. I just got rid of the one I had uh, that I was wearing for like, uh, like eight years. Yeah, you were, you had that one for a long time. But the back of it started like shedding and rolling up, so I had to get a new one. <laughs> but that's a long time for a leather yeah, jacket, though. That's that's true. Like wasn't super super expensive, right? So yeah, Zara is where it's at when it comes to well everything for me. I love Zara. Yeah, it's with like them. top three favorite clothing stores ever. Sure. Yes. So for me, gotta have a leather jacket, and this one um has silver hardware right. on it. So I've seen some with like gold hardware, but for mm -hmm. some reason when I see a leather jacket, I just prefer it silver does. hardware. Especially like the style, like yeah. the auto style looks the good with the silver. Silver hardware, it just looks better to me. So. Sure. Then speaking of Zara, I've been obsessed with these boots. These are from Zara as well. And ever since I saw them online, I had to have them. And when I was on Pinterest, I saw so many different ways to wear these. You can wear these with dresses, you can wear it with biker shorts, you can wear it with leggings, sweatpants, jeans. You can wear these with everything. Cause like when I first saw them by themselves, I was like, what can I wear those with? Cause I liked them by themselves. And at first I thought I can only wear them with particular outfits. But when I was on Pinterest, I'm on Pinterest way too often. I saw so many different ways that you can wear these. So these are a really good staple because you can wear them in so many different ways. So they're a really good investment because I feel like when I buy like more expensive pieces, I need to, find at least five ways I can wear them in my mind before I justify the price. Right. So that's how I shop most of the time I'm like looking for something that's a little bit more on the expensive side because these weren't the cheapest. I think they were like $120. But they're really good quality, super comfortable. They're not too heavy either because I was kind of worried about if they were going to be heavy or not. Mm -hmm. And they're not. They're kind of inspired by the Prada ones that I was not about to pay for right now. But I mean, they kind of look the same to me. So if you've been looking for some really cute boots like these, they're kind of like combat rain boots inspired. I can't really describe Meets them. Doc Martin. Yeah. Yeah, they do remind me of those as well. So yeah, check out Zara. They have a ton of different options that look like these. Some with zippers, some with the little faux um, shoestrings. So just a lot of different options. But I like these because they were nice and sleek and plain and simple. So yeah. Okay, guys. So that wraps up our Fall Essentials 2020. We will try our best to link everything we can find in the description box below for you guys if you want to purchase anything. And let us know if some of our essentials are your same essentials because basically everything in this video we've been using nonstop since the fall season has started. And I just love this time of year. Fall is like the best transitional weather. It's not too cold, it's not too hot, it's just like the best. And I just love the aesthetic of fall. I love the colors, I love the smells, I love how it feels outside. It's just like a feel good time and it feels normal. As much <laughs> abnormal things that are happening around the world right now, fall is giving me sanity. <laughs> so if you are a fall lover and you're fall crazy like us, yes, let us know because we probably sound so ridiculous to some people who just think it's just a new season. No, it's not. <laughs> fall is not just any season. Fall is the best season. It's the season. Yeah, it's the season. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next one.